Hello everyone, my name is Greg, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a car. This style car has been created a lot on Minecraft. However, there's a few unique features that will help spruce up your design and stand out from the rest. With this car's unique look, it has an old-fashioned base style, and it's great for your Minecraft neighborhood. Also, you can change the color of the car you want to build by changing the color of the wool. And here's a few color options for your car. This build is broken down into a total of 6 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, here's a quick little side note. This car is roughly 3 by 7 blocks wide, and it is 3 blocks tall. And these dimensions are helpful if you're building a car inside of a garage or a driveway, and you need to know the exact dimensions for the build. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this car. Step 1. First let's install the tires in the base frame. We will need 4 black wool blocks, 4 stone buttons, and 17 cobblestone slabs. First let's lay out the tires. Use black wool and place one down. Then move over 2 spaces and place another wool block on the second space. This will leave a 1 space gap in between. Next let's make the rear tires. Move over 5 spaces and place a block on the 5th space. And make sure there's four empty spaces in between the two tires. Then make a repeat on the other side. Next, let's place stone buttons on the sides of the tires. And this will look like lug nuts or a hubcap. Next, let's add a strip of cobblestone slabs down the center and place them on the top half of the wool blocks. And we can extend a cobblestone slab past the rear tire by one space. Then we can fill in the strips on the sides, and we can also add an extra slab in the back. Then fill in the other side and an extra slab in the back as well. Step 2. Next, let's work on the front and rear fenders. We'll need 8 cobblestone stairs and 2 cobblestone slabs. First let's place 2 cobblestone stairs above the front tires. Then place 2 slabs behind them. Then we can switch back to stairs. Place one in front of the black wool, as well as one on the other side. Then place a stair behind the black wool and do the same for the other side. And above the black wool block, we can place an upside down stair here. Then let's do the same on the other side. Step 3. Next, let's install the hood. For this step, we will need 10 red wool blocks. Now, if you don't want your car to be red and you'd like to change the color of your car, you can use a different color wool. Place the wool in between the stairs and fill in the opening spaces. except for the one space in the back, as we can leave this space open. Step 4. Next is install the trap door, lever, and spare tire. We will need one iron trap door, one lever, one gray carpet, one black wool block, and one stone button. First place the iron trap door at the front of the car. Then place the lever above that. Then place the carpet back here. Then lastly, we can install the spare tire by placing a black wool block in the back. And then place a stone button on the back side of that. Step 5. Next is install the cab. We will need 2 gray wool blocks, 3 glass blocks, 3 glass panes, and 9 gray carpet. First let's place a gray wool block above the cobblestone stair. Then we can place another one over here, above the stair. Then we can place glass blocks in front of each wool block. Then we can place three glass panes in front of the glass blocks. Then we can switch back to a glass block and place one in the back. Or you could choose to place a glass pane back here if you prefer. Then let's fill in the top with gray carpet.
Step 6. Lastly, we can install the headlights and taillights, as well as the front and rear bumper. We will need 6 signs, 4 item frames, 2 yellow wool blocks, and 2 red wool blocks. First, let's start by installing the front bumper. Place signs along the bottom row of the front of the car. Also, as a side note, you can also remove the sign and add a new one in, and write a custom license plate number on the front if you wish. However, I'm going to leave mine plain. Next, let's place item frames in the car, and then inside the item frames, place yellow wool blocks. And these will act as headlights. Then heading to the back of the car, we can add in a rear bumper. And you can choose to write in the custom license plate if you wish, or you could leave it blank. Next, let's add item frames in the car, and then inside the item frames, place red wool blocks. And these will be the brake lights. Also, if you'd like to make your car a little bit more sportier, you can remove the bumper in the back corner. Then once the bumper and cobblestone slab are removed, you can add a banner behind the tire, as this will be a mud flap. Then we can do the same on the other side. However, this option is completely up to you, and you can choose the way you want your car. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build, or like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe, because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.